thank you everyone for joining me today. We'll get into this in just a second, but for starters, I thought I'd introduce myself. I often don't do that, but um, some of you may be new. We are every day getting more and more people joining us. So my name's Rhonda, uh, my husband and myself. Uh, run this little bath bomb and soap company in Australia and we're very excited to be able to show you exactly what we're doing um, and how we can help you on your way to making soap. Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Interior Soapery. I actually thought I'd do a video that may help everyone out when you're considering labelling uh, all of your um, soaps and things like that. So when I label my soaps, there's a few little processes that I do. So I'll go through it with you today and um, hopefully this can help you. These are not expensive processes either. They're something you can get from your local supermarket. And also you can print a lot of these on your, just your typical HP, you know, 30 or $40 um, laser jet printer. So anyway, we'll get into it and hopefully I can help you all um, make some beautiful products and also label them so they look super duper uh, professional. Let's go. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna need a few things today. So I thought I would face you towards the soap so that you can see I've already made my soap um, and I've lined it all up ready to go. A couple of them are packaged just to easily show you what I'm doing. But first of all, obviously I make the soap then the soap is going to go through its curing process. And I actually do put specialized labels on them, so I know, so I'll show you this one here. So this particular one here will actually tell you um, the batch number, the date I made it, um, when it's gonna be cure ready. So for us, we wait six weeks. And um, then of course, the mica colors, what I popped into it. And um, you know, if it sort of has a code or a certification, I would write that on there. And then what I'm actually going to be calling the soap. So the one I've taken it off is Piggy in the Mud because it's my little piggy inspired um, soap. So I always keep them with all of my soap. So I know exactly what's going into them. And then the labels will be done um, prior to that. So prior to today and getting everything ready, what I've actually done is on my HP printer at home, I've just literally designed something. I design all mine on Canva, but you honestly, you could do it on Windows or you could do it on you know, the cheaper version. There's some free versions um, of Windows, so you don't have to use Windows. And then all you're going to do is literally you know, decide your heading and the legals that need to be on um, all of the products. So here is one that I have previously made. So this one is for my Gatsbury um, soap. So I've got my logo in the top saying it's artesian soap because you'll be amazed how many people um, say, is it soap or is it a bath bomb? I get asked that all the time. And then of course, you know, what you're going to be um, labeling your product as, so it's name that you're giving it. And then of course it does need to have um, the weight on it. So each country is different, but in Australia we do need to have a weight. So I do all my weights in grams. And, um, and then of course, all the other details that need to be on the bottom. Usually I say things um, such as where it's manufactured and um, you know that it's made in Australia. So because that's something that I talk about a lot, that um, ours are all Australian made and we proudly make them all in our little family business. So that's what I do on my front. This one here that you can see, um, and I will show you in a minute, is actually a clear label. I'm getting mine from a company called Stanley Labels. Um, and I'll also leave the links and things like that for you. Um, so, and hopefully that can actually really help you along. And um, yeah, so then we'll sort of go from there. But like I said, that is your first one, okay, that's going to go on the front of your label. And then you have a second one that goes on the back of the label. So I've just printed them in white. These I've printed them on vinyl so then they're easy and they don't get lost. So it just says, first of all, thanks for the support. And then it will have all the ingredients and everything listed. We'll have where it's manufactured, which is in my warehouse. And it has to have the address. So even if you're making it from home, uh, I know you may not like this, but you have to put your address on. So um, you can't just say a suburb, it does need to be the manufacturing address. And the reason for that is if there is a really big problem with your soap, people know where to find you, where it's made, and um, then they can check out your manufacturing. So um, it is important that you adhere to safety regulations. 
and that you um, read up a bit on it. There's quite a lot on the health department in Australia and, you, you know, other countries also um, would have a similar body such as their health departments and you can actually get some free information from all them. So do Google, you can Google and go on all their websites. It's so easy now that we have everything available at our fingertips. But um, yeah, it is really important that you understand the legals on what need to be on the product. So even if I'm only going to be putting a tiny bit of neon pink, or as you can see in these, the tiny little candies on the top, you do need to put in the ingredients for those candies. You can't just leave it um, with nothing on there. So you do need to write everything on there. It's really important. Um, and then for me, once um, I've decided to make them, along with these little codes that I was showing you before, I do also have a second code which tells me the whole recipe, the ingredient, and that's for my own um, record keeping so that if anything went wrong, then at least I would know. And um, yeah, so just protect yourself. That is the one thing I would say. Um, soap making, um, you know, is really important and we are using chemicals. So um, you do need to really think about that. But anyway, enough for my little mummy lecture. Um, I just hate for you to get yourself into a bit of a bother. So do make sure that you do that. And then today what I'm going to do is teach you how I do mine. So a lot of people want to do stamping um, on their soap, but they can't afford the stamp, which I totally understand. But I actually got this little one here, that if you can see, and I've just put my um, name Nelson in it. So you could put whatever your soapery company is, say if it's, you know, soap.com, you could literally just put that in there. These little ones here, I think are a Betty Crocker one. I got it from my local supermarket for about $9 and it comes with all the letters and then the bar and then you literally just slide your letters, you know, through here. So you can see them moving now that I'm moving it and you can take it out. I do have some that I write baby. Um, on some of mine and so on or if it's lavender I just put lavender in it but they're really good and then um, I'll actually show you how I've um, pressed all mine so I have pre-pressed one but I will show you a demo of pre-pressing it so I'll just grab it let me find it now Okay, so this is one that I've already done. So you can just see Nelson is just imprinted in the bottom and it makes it look a little bit more professional. I've obviously sealed this, um, so we wrap all of ours. Um, just because of COVID, it's really important to wrap them as well. This is a smell-proof um, um, plastic wrap as well. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called then. But yeah, so you can buy different ones. You can buy a biodegradable. Unfortunately, in Australia, we just cannot get it at the moment due to COVID. Um, big companies here only want to sell to somebody buying massive, massive amounts, but uh, an average SOPA wouldn't buy those amounts. So unfortunately we can't get it from here. We do have to ship it in from overseas and um, it's just very hard at the moment. Things are taking four to six months at times to get to Australia from overseas. So um, yeah, so definitely taking a while. Um, on average, three to four months is normal. So yeah, so unfortunately we can't do that. But anyway, that was that's sort of an example. So let me show you now um, doing all of the um, stamping. So we'll show you that and we'll come back. Okay, so I've got my little soap here. So we're going to use this one and I'll just pop him here. We'll put him nice and close so that you can actually see exactly what I'm gonna do. And like you've seen, I've got my um, soap. So uh, my little label I mean that I've already made. So I'm just go literally going to turn it in here so I know it's going literally to be in here. You can actually put a plastic wrap under the bottom. So this is um, something you can do. So you can put the plastic on that because you can see how some of the soaps got stuck. So if you put the plastic on it, it is harder to do. I'm not going to lie, it is. So we'll just push it tight. These are cured, remember? And then we'll just pop this one out. And if you can see the difference, this is what it does when the plastic wraps on. I'm not keen whatsoever on that. So I will show you um, another one and this is what I actually do and I just pick out the soap if it gets stuck it's no big deal really is it so we'll take it out and then it definitely looks better um, you know you can see a little bit come out of that but that doesn't matter your label is on it and that's all that is really important and um, and you can see how it's kind of stuck here which is a bit of a bit annoying but anyway I just get my little um, little stick and then 
I literally just go and, you know, pick it all out and then I'll do the next one. But if you don't have a soap um, stamp, which I have ordered one, but it's still taking some time from the US, uh, I'll leave the link to the girl that I got mine from. She was really good and really affordable. Um, you know, some of them were hundreds of dollars. She was like only $20 plus the shipping, so I thought she was pretty good. Uh, I think the company's name is called Burrito, but I will definitely leave you the link down below. But anyway, so yeah, so now we're going to just stamp all the rest of my soaps and, um, and then we'll go from there. So once again, we're just going to, you know, pop it in here, give it a bit of a wiggle and then wiggle it back out again. And then that's it there. This one's a bit drier than the other one, so it's worked much better. And now I'll show you putting on my label. So I've already made one here. So this one's all done. And um, you can see here that my um, stamping is on it. So all I'm going to do now is literally put the label that I've already made. This one's called Gatsbury. And um, I just literally put this on the front. And this is the clear one on the front. So hopefully you can see it looks really lovely with the clear. And then on the back, I do just put my other uh, vinyl that I have printed out. Like I said, these are just printed out uh, on my normal sheet machine. I get all of my printable um, vinyls uh, from a company called Rainbow, but I'll leave that for you as well. And, um, but the clear one comes from a company called Stanley. So then on the back, this is what it says, and it's nice and clear. I would like to use the clear on the back, but sometimes I can't because this is obviously black. So um, you do need to make sure that those ingredients are really clear for your customers to see um, exactly what it is. And you can see it's really clear. And the thank you for your support just adds that extra little bit on really thanking customers because they're choosing you over hundreds and hundreds of other stores that they could be going to. So I'm sure that you can agree that looks really, really cute and, um, and it really does look professional. So yeah, so anyway, that's how I make all of mine. Otherwise, you're literally just going to be, you know, giving a basic bar, so like that. So um, definitely looks better once it's all done up and ready to go. And then you can do them wholesale and you may have clients that want their own private label written on there and then maybe you could do that if that's something you want to do as well. Um, you know, obviously you would need to charge them for the label you're doing, but yeah, but you can definitely do it. And like I said, it's just a $30 printer that you need. Um, your stamp, that cost you about $9 and then you're ready to go, literally ready. So, um, yeah, it's not so hard at all. Anyway, hopefully this has been really helpful for you. I know it would have been helpful when I started out to find all this out myself. But like I said, I will leave all the links and um, yeah, let me know how you go. I'd love to know. Thanks so much. Have a nice day. Bye for now. Now that wasn't long, was it? I'm back again for a quick second. I just thought I would show you this photo that I've just um, taken. I, in the main process while I was doing this video, I did receive my new um, stamper, which I actually got from a little company called Burrito. Um, I will leave all the links for them. And it was really affordable and it was fast. I think it came from the US, um, but you can see it looks beautiful now. So finally, I've got one after all these years. I never had one. Um, so you don't have to grab a professional one straight away, but it does look beautiful. But also the lettering, as I've showed you before, you can definitely use that and it will look professional. So I'll let you look at my last few clips and um, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much.